Okay, so we get the shifter for the two-speed transmission installed. It was a little complicated trying to figure out how to get it to work. I had to go underneath the radiator, had to go over here, over here, back over to here just to get it to work properly. But uh, it works pretty good. That is first gear, and then that is going to be second gear, and then that is neutral. Now, later on we'll figure out the gearing as to what kind of gearing we want for first gear and second gear, but we'll do that later. Also later on we do need to figure out a way for it to be able to lock into gears because right now it just freely moves back and forth from first gear to second gear. We need a way to it for it to lock into gears so therefore it doesn't go out of gear when we're driving this thing. We'll do that later. Um, so this is pretty much every, almost everything that we need to install on this frame. Which y'all know what that means. It is now time to completely disassemble this entire thing, weld the entire frame together, and then we can reassemble it. So we finished welding this thing together. It wasn't that hard, you know, this thing's not that big, so it didn't really take that long. So next step is we need to start reassembling this thing. So before we install the jack shaft, we first need to remake this axle. Now, first of all, this isn't long enough. Also, uh, this isn't going to work because this has a keyway going all the way down it, and that's not going to work for the two-speed transmission. These parts of the two-speed have needle bearings on the inside, and these need to run on a solid one-inch axle. They cannot be running on any part that has a keyway. So what I did is I bought... Uh, I bought this. This is just solid one inch round bar and uh, this doesn't have a keyway on it yet. So what we need to do is we need to cut it to size and then mill a keyway right here and right here only.
Okay, so let's talk about the gearing for a little bit. Now, a couple days ago, I was trying to figure out how to do the gearing of this project and how to do gearing between first and second gear. And now, when I was coming up with the plan on how to build this thing and what to add and how it's going to work, I was like thinking, like, we haven't done anything with my two speed transmission in quite a long time and we can fit one on here. So why not? Why not put a two-speed transmission on this project? And I never really stopped to think about how ridiculous this little go-kart already is with this massive engine on here and how light this thing is. I never really stopped to think how, how ridiculous it is, even without the two-speed transmission. So I put it on here anyway, and now that I'm like trying to figure out the gearing and trying to calculate the gearing of what the gearing should be between first and second gear, I'm kind of realizing, like, yeah, the two-speed's not really necessary and it's I'm tr like how am I gonna get this to work what should the gearing be for first and second gear should we make it to where first gear is like really really slow for like you know wheel spin wheelies all that kind of stuff and second gear be the driving gear or we could get or we could gear it to where first gear is like mainly mainly your driving gear and then second gear is 100 miles an hour plus if we want to. I am pretty sure if we gear this thing correctly in second gear, we could, if we wanted to, get this little go-kart up to 100 miles an hour plus. I am pretty sure we could do that. Now, do we want to do that? Would I want to go 100 miles an hour on a tiny little go-kart with go-kart tires and only rear brakes? Absolutely not. That sounds like a death wish, but it has the capability of being able to do that by simply changing it from first gear to second gear, or first gear to second gear. So we can we can gear this thing to whatever we want. So right now, I just kind of have the gearing just kind of at like medium. Right now the gearing is three to one in first gear and two to one in second gear. First gear is I believe like a three to one is a pretty decent top speed as well as uh, and a pretty good acceleration speed, um, possibly wheelies and all that kind of stuff. And uh, second gear is, who knows? Who knows how fast this thing's gonna go with two to one gear? If somebody wants to calculate how fast this thing's gonna go uh, with two to one gearing with 16 inch tires and a frame that maybe weighs 130, 140 pounds with uh, everything on it minus me, uh, feel free to calculate uh, how fast this thing's gonna go. Because I, 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 I I, I'm not really sure how to calculate the gear with this because I, you, you can figure out the RPM of the engine, but you really can't figure out the RPM of the jack shaft. I'm not really sure how to calculate that because of the CVT and because of gearing changes between the CVT. I'm not really sure how to calculate. Uh, I'm sure if I just Google it, I can figure it out, but I'm too lazy and I don't really feel like doing that. So if somebody wants to do it for me, feel free. Uh, thank you for doing that if somebody wants to do it. So right now, Three to one, first gear, two to one, second gear. We can change it later if we want to. But right now, that's what the gearing is uh, for now. Okay, so the frame is all welded together and reassembled. Now, next thing we should work on is let's figure out a way to get the two-speed shifter to lock into gear. Because right now, it just it freely moves back and forth. And if we left it like this, it, we're going to have to hold it in gear while we're driving that thing, while we're driving this thing. So now, all we need to do is basically just figure out a way for us for us to be able to easily lock it in it, lock it into first gear be able to lock it in a neutral and lock it in second gear while still making it easy to shift back and forth.
Okay, so we get the gear shifter selector installed, I guess that's what you call it. Uh, it works pretty well, but it does need a little fine tuning. Because uh, in second gear, it's a little hard to get it in and out of second gear. But neutral works fine. That's This is neutral right now. Back is uh, set first gear. That's first gear. Back into neutral. And that is second gear. And it holds in gear. And then you can just change it just like that and back into neutral. So this vehicle is now finally ready to start working on wiring, hooking up everything, and trying to see if we can get the engine running. But I'm gonna save that for next video and I'm not promising we're gonna get it running in next video because I'm not sure how much work it needs and not sure how long it's gonna take to get it running, but we're gonna at least try to get it running in the next video of this project. But for now, I gotta end this video here. Thank y'all for watching. I'll see ya in the next video. Alright, so check this out. I just noticed this. Oh, look at that. That that looks like raccoon paw prints. At least I think that's raccoon paw prints. Which makes me wonder, how did a raccoon get in here and when did it get in here? Because most... I close the doors every night and if the doors are open, that means that I'm in here. So... When in the world did a raccoon get in here. So that's a, that's a little weird.